Honey, 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 so to get started, what you want to do is you're going to want to go to streamlabs.com. You're going to sign in with your Twitch account. It's going to ask you. So once you get in, you're going to go to alert box. Okay. So the first step in getting your alerts onto OBS or Streamlabs is you have to, um, you have to copy this widget alert right here. So once you did that, you're going to copy the, um, gonna copy the link and then you're gonna open your Streamlabs or OBS today I'm using Streamlab OBS but it's basically the same with regular OBS so yeah I'm gonna switch over to Streamlab OBS and I'm gonna show you guys how to insert your alert box for OBS okay guys now that you have your OBS or Streamlab OBS open like I said I'm using Streamlab OBS this is how you add your alert box. I already have one, but for this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add one. So what you're going to do, you're going to press this plus right here, and you're going to go to browser source, and then you're going to press add source. Then you're going to make sure this, click this on, and add new source instead. And then you're going to name this alert, okay? Click add source. Now you're going to delete this link right here, and you're going to do control V on your keyboard, and you're gonna paste your URL for um, your alert widget box. Then you're gonna press done. Okay, now you're gonna hover over, not hover, but you're gonna click this alert and you can move it to the center, you can move it to the side, you can move it here, you can move it there, you can move it anywhere. And you can use like the little custom things, you can resize it small if you want it big, you know what I'm saying? Most people like it big so you can see. But that's how you create your um, alert box in Streamlab OBS. Okay, guys, now we're back, and I'm going to show you how to upload your custom alerts. Um, you're going to click Follows. Okay, so this is where we'll be uploading our custom follow alert. Okay, so like I said, for the layout, that's up to you. I prefer the first one, but you could try all of them and see which one works better for you. Message template, you can have it or you don't have to have it. It's up to you. I just have it for fun. Text animation, that's up to you. Now, when you get to image, this is where you will be uploading your custom alerts. So, one thing, guys. Whoever make your follow alerts, or if you make them on your own, make sure if they are animated that it is in WebM format. Transparent. And if it's just a picture, make sure it's uploaded in a PNG format. So, to upload, we're going to go right here. This last one with the little arrow with the border. And then you're going to go to Uploads. And then you're going to go drag and drop. Now, from this menu, you can upload all of them. Just hold Control on your keyboard and select each follow alert that you have. Now, these are follow alerts that I made for someone else. So, I'm not going to upload his follow alerts to mine. I do have one of them, but that's a test because I always, you know, test everything before I send it to my um, clients. So, this is his. I'm not going to upload them, but you will press open. I'm going to press cancel. Now, like I said, we're doing the follower right now. So, you're going to click your follow, like your custom follow alert. You're going to click it and select. And that's it. You're just going to save settings. Okay. Then you'll go to subscription, and it's basically the same thing. You just go here, go to your uploads, and you're going to click the one for your subs. Okay, so my subs would be, uh, Matrix in it should be this one right here. And then we'll select that one. Now, I forgot, alert duration. I usually put it on 8 seconds, but it's up to you. My sound volume, it usually be on 30 or 50. It's up to you. And uh, yeah, you'll click save settings. Now you will go and do the same thing for donations, hosts, bits, and raids. You should have six custom alerts. 
like I said, I've never seen anyone have one for merch. Cloud, but I never seen all that. But I have one for merch, but that's just because me, I made my own. So, once you have done each, you know, alert for each one, you can test it. Okay. So basically, when you test, you want to have your Streamlabs or your OBS open. So once it's open, test follow. It should pop up on your screen. Welcome like to Honey's Cabaret, where your every desire will be for a feel. <laughs> Yeah, guys that's it that's how you upload custom alerts i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and share this video with somebody because you never know who need help with twitch i'll be doing more tutorials on helping you guys with twitch so also i make custom alerts i make custom screens i make custom twitch overlays so if you need that work I'm going to leave everything in the description. And you can hit me up. Alright guys, I hope, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'm out. Hey, yo. I need all the bad bitches to pour to my honey. room. With they mouth open. Fuck you talking about. Eat that bitch. Eat that dick. Eat that bitch. What do you say? What do you say? Little baby clap them cheeks, ayy Move your ass to the beat